Hey guys, it's your boy Big Joe9445. And today I was feeling a dessert. Uh, I haven't done a dessert in a long time. And and I just been on keep, keep on thinking and thinking, man, what dessert do I want to try? Like literally, it's super hard. I had no idea what I wanted. Until I found Munchie Do. The pictures look so amazing. L like literally the uh, like, isn't this just amazing? They sell waffles, munch, munchy donut, and boba. I'm dev definitely gonna try one of each to see how it turns out. Because they, this looks good. And, and, and I could have gone to to my old desserts, but and I'm telling you, I, I don't go back to like like old stuff that I already tried. I want to try something new, and I wanted to bring you guys along. I have no idea what I'm going to get. Serenity, huh? However you, you say that name. Always amazing service and food. I just stick with the taro, but they make it very well. Love getting the monchi waffles. If you have to get them, make sure to order with toppings, especially some. Some type of drizzling though. And the waffle was a big hard, but I still cleaned that plate. Well, I just came back. I placed my order at 7.26. It did not come out until 7, 7.35. So that took around like 10 minutes. And the sad thing about this, they did not have donuts. I'm such a donut because, because that, that's literally the whole point that I came here for. I should have came here another day. Once I heard that, that line that they're out, I should have come back another day to try this. Oh, but uh, I, st I still got something. I love you every monchi. Step in the middle. Well, that, this is amazing. It's got that, that nice peach flavor, that nice flavor. It has that perfect amount of, of sugar. And it doesn't even seem like, like I'm getting to the boba yet. Oh, you, you're not supposed to chew boba, it's, it's hard. A, a hard texture to it. Okay, well since this box can't even close for its presentation. And, and I told them I wanted it to go and they did not put it in a to-go box. They need to piss off and get a grip because they're literally such a donut. You guys have to get your stuff together. Piss off and get a grip on this. I mean, it does have a, that nice box to it. As you can see, you see the, the design on top. You can't really see it. I love your, I love you very monchi. I love you guys very monchi. You see a corn dog. This is not, let's just rip this box open cause I'm getting sick of this box. It does not want to present itself. This is a mozzarella cod, cod dog. This is covered in hot Cheetos. I thought this was gonna be like like a Korean type of dog. I don't know what what type, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Hopefully, you guys know. Okay, that nice Cheeto dust with that stretchy cheese. Pretty crunchy. I, I need to find that light, that nice, beautiful light that 
that can't, comes with my camera that I ordered. I have to find it because this is not good. I mean, you guys can see me, right? Hopefully you guys can see me. But it's just better with that bright light. Man, uh, half of this hot dog, corn dog. I don't know, would you guys consider this a corn dog or a hot dog? They should have just called it a corn dog. Because this is literally how a corn dog comes in. I say they, they went overboard with this. Because the whole point of this is to get to the dog. Well, that took me to surprise. I was actually good. But they went too overboard with this. I, I want to taste something else besides that hot Cheeto dust. Like, seriously. It, it doesn't even seem like they added more seasonings, even though a, a hot dog doesn't need a seasoning. Or I wonder what Gordon Ramsay has to say about that, my beast. I wonder what he has to say about if a corn dog needs more seasoning. I, I believe it's not, like I said in the past. So it has its good flavors though. But because they went way too overboard with that hot Cheeto dust, a 7 out of 10. Well, I was not expecting this. Okay, you see, th this one they can wrap beautiful, but I wonder what was happening with that box. Like she, she tried everything to, to wrap it and it just did not want to work. Order ahead, follow on Instagram. Uh, to deserve a follow? No. Because they didn't have donuts. They sell out of hot dogs at 7.30. They should keep on, keep on selling hot dogs and just make them more small. And why the hell do I need a big box for that little, that little tiny tray? Whatever you guys want to call it. Man, this place needs to piss off and get a grip. A, a cute box though, but Really make a box that is more small Not not too small, but just like just like a little wiggly room and at the bottom it says I I love you very munchy. Okay Best when consumed immediately Okay, just a Just a basic Seriously, just just a basic waffle. Oh, nothing fancy about this. It seems like they went way overboard without the Oreo crumble. What is happening to this place? How the hell is this business in place? Uh, because they need to piss off and get a grip and use less. Less, uh, crumbles. Yeah, less crumbles. But let's see how, how this tastes. And again, it says, I love you very munchy. It says that everywhere. Super hard. Super dry. It seems like they just made a waffle, put a little syrup, and there. There you go. There's nothing good about this. Let's see, do the crumbles fall? Okay, a good test right there. The crumbles did not fall. Like, a restaurant should, should go over, should try different stuff that we normally wouldn't try in the, at the house. Because literally, you can make this at, at your own damn house. This is the second waffle. What is this? Seriously, what is this? This place really needs to piss off and get a grip. This is not acceptable. I'd, I'd rather have the, the first one that, that is over drizzled than Oreo crumb. Because no. A little bit more soft. Yeah, definitely a little bit more soft, but still, no. It's still hard to chew. Wow. This is horrible. It's so horrible. I don't get how there's so many people that come to this place. Like seriously, I have no idea. Well, going back to this customer service, when I walked, they were just working. The right thing to do 
the great the person walking in oh hi welcome to this place we'll be with you shortly we are short staffed and uh, just wait a minute Z something like that something like that 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 is what they should have said seriously so i hate that customer service i always i always want to to be greeted because that's exactly how you do it you greet them and there this place really needs to piss off and get a grip seriously L literally I this literally deserves it though to go in the trash that's where it belongs i'll pick it up right now but that is where it belongs in the damn trash you see i picked it up but that goes in the trash what a bad place do not come here the only thing good about this was the the boba that that's it but other than that no i mean at least the, the hot dog thing was melted the cheese because if that wasn't melted i would not be happy i am not happy because i am pissed all the way through with this stupid place yeah definitely don't waste your money here do not waste your money stupid hopefully one of you guys workers from this place watches this damn video to see how i feel and to piss off and get a grip you donut you are such a donut it's caught in the crossfire <laughs>